Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Apa King Carter here. I'm back with another NBA All Net video. It's time for me to get down nitty and gritty, man. It's time for me to make a new team. And what better way to do that than with a couple players from the draft? So check things out, man. I'm going to go ahead and go to shop. going to go to cards. Look at the players available this week. We got Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, and Andre Iguodala. So let's check out Iguodala for a second. I haven't seen Iguodala card in a while, man. Let me see what type of chemistry he got. The Golden Warriors. He gets an increase of 25% to his field goal stats. I like that. I like that. But I don't want that card. Let's see Clay Thompson for a second. Woo! A stunning 93. Serviceman. He gets an increased three points stat of 15% if Steph Curry's on the court. Okay. Let's check out Steph Curry. 94 overall look at this he got the sharpshooters and the servicemen he gets an increase of 20 percent oh my god all right so let me see something real quick man i want to see what i want to see what skills steph got and what he can bring to the court uh 20 percent permanent field going three point field goal 60 percent chance guarantee shot success 50 percent what is that 50 plus permanent Okay, okay. Let me check out Clay one last time, man. Let me check out what he got. Nothing but net. Get one additional shot in all players game. Plus 20 in. What? Which can't be blocked? 20% permanent increase in field goal three point. 50 plus permanent increase. Oh my god. I, I might have to get Clay. I might have to draft Clay. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do first though. First off, I'm going to go ahead and go to cards, and I'm going to go ahead and get my first player and a player that I think you guys should get as well. So, check it out. Let me go to pieces. Let me see who I got today. Let's see. Yeah, that's right. I got a lot of mythic pieces, man. I've been working hard in NBA All Net. So, check this out. I got Steve Nash, man. For 299 mythic pieces, I can give me a Steve Nash right now. Now, the reason why I say you guys need to get a Steve Nash is because this. Check out his steal rating. His steal rating is a 75, correct? Okay. Look at that. If he has Stoudemire on his team, he has a plus 15% in steal. If he got the Dirk Nowinski, he got an increased steal rate of 5%. But let's check out some other stuff. Look at this. He got Commander. He got Steadfast. And he got Far Shot. Plus 100 permanent increase to three point stat. My God. It's time to combine for Steve Nash, man. That's who we're going to go after. We're going after the big Steve Nash. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I have 140 pieces left to do whatever I would like. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fuse together a few cards and get those out the way. Now, I'm not going to fuse any of my mythics. Oh, yeah, by the way, I got three Dom no, two Dominiques. Well, actually, I got three, but one is in training right now. And I have three Mal Moses Malones. RIP to Moses, man. I got three of those as well, so I'm going to be building those guys. I I'll tell you how I got, got those in a minute. But uh, first, we're going to go ahead and put together a few team of five real quick. We're going to go ahead and confirm that. Hit OK. I'm going to fuse them together. The The coins and the diamonds don't matter because now I'm a P level 8. So I'm doing my thing. I got one Kobe Bryant card, one team of Grady piece, and 30 mythic pieces. That's what I really needed. All right, one, two, three, four, five. I'm not worried about these LeBron James. I'm not worried about them. I already got a maxed out legendary LeBron James. So don't even worry about it, people. All right, let's see. Next up. I got, oh, only got two cards. So check this out. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and go to legendary matches and see if I can pull me a CP3. Now, CP3 is an easy way to level up in Fusion because he has a 79 overall, but he only requires 80 pieces. So I just got my Chris Paul piece, right? Now, I'm just going to try to draw any old card. Not worried about what type of card I got. I'm going to go ahead and go to cards, and then I'm going to go to pieces. Then I'm going to look for that Chris Paul. Remember, this is a legendary Chris Paul. This is for easy purposes only. So 79 pieces, if I combine that, 
go ahead and give me a Chris Paul. Then I'm gonna go back and try it again. And then I'm gonna see if I can get me five cards. Now remember, you guys need to follow this to a T, man. If you don't follow this to a T, you're gonna be spending a lot of your diamonds that you purchased. Remember, you wanna you wanna purchase diamonds, but you don't wanna use them all up in the first in the first go round. You don't wanna blow your load now. You don't wanna blow your load. Alright, so I got another Chris Paul piece. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to cards. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to pieces. I'm gonna try to find that that uh Chris Paul that I just had. Where is he at? Come here, Chris. Yeah, Chris. There you go. Let's combine for another 79 pieces. Get another Chris Paul. Alright, I'm working here. I'm working. That's four cards right there. That's four cards. All right, go back to the legendary. Go back to Chris Paul. All right, hit try again. Got me another piece. That's I'm three for three in legendary matches pulling that Chris Paul piece, and it's clutch like that. All right, go back to cards. Go back to pieces. Gonna look for this card once again. Let's see if I can find him. There he goes, Chris Paul. And we're gonna go ahead and combine them again. And we have five cards for fusion. All right, now I only have 37 uh, legendary pieces left. That's okay. I'm not worried about that. Let's see what activities we got. Let's see, can I get something from the big wheel? Nope, I already spent my diamonds on that. Let's go to fusion, select another five cards. We're gonna start from here. Yes, yes. All right, got my five cards. Gonna hit confirm and let's see what we are gonna get. I know I'm only here for the mythic pieces, but we got a Gary Payton out of that. That's pretty good. And we got an Allen Iverson piece. Not bad, not bad. Now, for what you guys really wanted to see, let's check out the shop, go to cards, and let's see if I can get me a Clay Thompson here. I'm gonna go ahead and draft Clay. This is my first draft. I'm gonna go ahead and click Tyson because he has the highest overall. Remember, when you're getting purple, blue, or green, or even gray, Try to go for the highest overall, man. Just just go for the highest overall. And um, even in legendaries, because legendaries, to me, they're only for fusion. So, you know, it is what it is. All right. I currently got 40 pieces of clay. All right. Let's see. That makes 60 pieces of clay. All right. Let's go one more. This makes a smooth 80. And we're going to do one more for 100. All right. One more draft. All right and bada boom bada bang all right so i have 100 clay thompson pieces right now and i'm going to go redeem him with the pieces of universal i already own all right so where's clay 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 welcome to the squad now i'm gonna give you guys a reason why i picked clay thompson if you have him at the two or even the three he gets an additional shot and all players gain plus 20 field goal and three point stats for 20 seconds. So that means within 20 seconds, your team can catch fire. All right. And if they shoot a three point shot, it can't be blocked. That is insane. Insane. So I'm going to go ahead and combine the cards here. Going to get my clay clay. All right. Okay, level one Clay Thompson. Now, I'm gonna show you guys what my roster is gonna be looking like. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to training. Now, you guys see that Dominique and Moses have already got to level 28 and 29. I'm putting in work there with them. Now, what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna start leveling up Clay, Clay, and I'm gonna start that, finish that. Then we're gonna start that, finish that. And then we are going to start that and let that sit. The next card on this list, where's he at? Where's he at? Bring him home, baby. Steve Nash. We're going to finish that. Start him up. Finish that. And we're going to start him up and let that sit. So now I have four players. I have a point guard. I have a shooting guard here. I have a small forward. And I have a power forward. Now, it's time to build up a center. Now, you guys will see here, I don't have any centers that are mythic pieces, right? But, but, there is a but. If you go to shop, right, 
they always have elite centers out here right now this is a legendary elite center these are the possibilities that you can get so when you want to shop for mythics you have to look at legendary first and see what their stats are like just to get a general like you know thought process of maybe which one you might want but uh no we're not going to show you guys that yet uh gears and resources i'm gonna go ahead and go to special and i'm gonna show you guys what i'm working with on the um all-star challenge so basically on all-star challenge it's an easy way to get pieces for mythic pieces so you guys will see here that they have great players available but i don't need any of these players i don't need a point guard i don't need a shooting guard i don't need a small forward i don't need a power forward but i do need a center but david robinson is not going to be that card that i want so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to my 66 all-star challenge coins and then I'm going to divvy up some diamonds for the next go around for that. So let's go into, um, where do I want to go? Oh, I know where I want to go. I want to go to rank up. I want to finish ranking up Moses and I want to rank him up again and I want to go and evolve my cards. So basically here you guys. Um, level 28, Dominique. It's time to add the catalyst to him. I got the two catalysts, and I'm gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna forget about you guys. I'm gonna tell you how I got those extra Dominiques. Um, I will explain everything to you guys, and uh, you'll see real, real soon. Okay, evolution succeeded. Let's evolve another card, and that is my Moses. Let's see, add the catalyst for my Moses. Look at that, he getting skinny on him. Look at that. Look at that, he getting skinny on him. Look how skinny he used to be. Look at that, look at that. Boom, bang, bada, bing, bada, boom, evolved. All right, so next thing I wanna show you guys. All right, so you guys see premium level A, blah, 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 all of that, right? So let me tell you guys all about these little premium things. So basically when you're shopping for diamonds, right? You have to get like a certain percentage of diamonds, like a, an exact count darn near, and you get certain things as perks. So basically, see how it says um, premium level eight perks is you get two mythic cards and everything like that, and you get the tap the contents. Now it says two Allen Iversons, but I haven't gotten two Allen Iversons in a long time. But what they did give me was two Dominiques and two. Uh, uh, Moses Malone's when I went from uh, level six to level eight. So basically, um, I didn't I didn't get my premium badge and I didn't get my premium ring for uh, this gift. But I let, let me see what I got for level six. Um, I did get a bunch of Nashes the last time that I went crazy, um, and I I do remember getting a whole bunch of rubies. But let's see when you hit purchase, right? So I need about what I would say. 10,000 diamonds it costs a hundred dollars for only six thousand right so I would have to spend roughly about I say what 160 170 to get premium level eight and when you put that much money into a game you really don't want to spend your diamonds you want to hold on to your diamonds as long as you can now this is what I do what I do is when I go to cards and I get all of my pieces and stuff like that I just work with the pieces that I got for a while. Like I work on them for about a month. It's not hard to get pieces either. Look, I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is, man. So basically I come all the way to the back right here and I start with the combination chapters, right? So basically every combination chapter I have is maxed out. And look what you get. You get a, a legendary piece every time you get a basically you basically get a legendary piece every time and once you get all of those pieces that's when you do the cp3 legendary pull so then after that i come down and i come down to my little homie cp3 you know with a nice little 79 overall all right let me see where he at come down get him and i have him unlocked for elite and normal so i can use this elite to get another cp3 and you just rack up like that and sometimes when i when i feel like spending my diamonds like say for instance say right now in this draft they had uh yao yao ming i would draft a hundred pieces of yao ming and let those hundred pieces sit until i get 200 universal pieces that's the type of player i am i don't, I don't, I don't play no games man i i'll be trying to put my work in man i'm just trying to 
just trying to do my thing, man. Try to make sure that everybody eats, man. But um, I also wanted to let you guys know that I am now a owner of a club in NBA All Net. I am the owner of Club 1984. So if you do play on the Chicago server, that's the only server that I'm playing on right now because that's the one that I've dumped the most money into. If you're playing on the Chicago server and you want to join a a nice little club and I'm taking any 70 overalls and as long as you contribute to the club, you, you, you're cool with me. Make sure you uh, send the invite to 1984 and join up, man. Um, but this is your boy IKC signing out. I hope you guys enjoy, man, because I know I did. Um, just to show you guys um them, them stats real quick. Let me see if I can go back to them stats, though. Let me see. Roster. All right. Details. All right. And he already has the far shot. He already has the 100 per permanent increase to three-point stat. Like, already. Already, his three-point is on 212. Just imagine when he gets maxed out. Now, remember, he's a point guard, right? Steve Nash is a point guard. Let me show you who my point guard is right now. Let me show you what his stats is looking like. Look at his stat right now, B. Look at look at Dwayne Wade's stat right now. Just imagine what will happen when I put all of the gear and everything on this Steve Nash that I have on this Dwayne Wade. Look at the gear that I got on my man Dwayne Wade. Just imagine what will happen. Matter of fact, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. This, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going I'm to I'm swap the card out. I'm going to swap the card out. That's what we're going to do. We're going to swap them out. And we're going to take a look at Steve Nash right now. This is Steve Nash at level 3. At level 3, this is Steve Nash. Not level 70. Level 3. And he, he doesn't have any rank to him. He doesn't have no rank. And he's only level 3. And this is already his stats. God die. It's going to be crazy. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. But uh, I'm going to be running a new lineup. Um, basically, my new lineup is going to consist of, and I'm going to call it out here, uh, Steve Nash is going to be point guard. Clay Thompson is going to be shooting guard. Um, I'm going to try to get uh, Dominique Wilkins into this third spot. And then for the power forward, I was thinking of either running Moses or trying to find Dr. J. If I find a mythic jock, Dr. J, I'm going to have that lineup in there where it's high flyers all over the court and my one and two punch, my point guard and shooting guard are going to be straight shooters. And at the center position, I'm going to put Moses Malone or I could keep Shaq, but I am definitely would put Moses because of the chemistry. And I know you guys are probably thinking like, ah, pot, it's not much chemistry in this new lineup. It's not really about the chemistry. It's about the stats that each card has and what they can do for you when it comes to these ranked matches. That's what it's all about for me from now on. This list right here, I'm about to show you guys this list. This list right here, I want to be number one one day. I seriously want to be number one one day. Look at the point change I took today. I took a negative 62 point change. I was number seven on this list. I was number seven. Some of these guys are in my... Uh, in my club some of these guys are in rival clubs and i just i just want to be i want to be one, one of them man i want to be top 10 number one top five i want to be that man but it's your boy ikc signing out i know you guys probably like man spend more diamonds don't worry about that man i ain't gotta make it rain diamonds baby i got strategy to this game this is your boy ikc signing out peace yeah.